Don't believe this Delta variant nonsense. Stop it. I know right wing watch watching. I don't care. If they go through round two and you start showing up all these masks and all this nonsense, I'll ask you to leave. Our Nick Valencia has been following this story. Wow. Nick, good morning. How does pa uh, Pastor Greg Locke defend his stance? Good morning, Robin. He's doing so by standing behind God. He believes that he's righteous in his crusade of misinformation and flat out lies. And this weekend he was at it again. The scary part is not just what he's saying, but also the reaction to it. His congregation has grown in size over the last year as he continues to call the COVID-19 pandemic a false pandemic, saying vaccines are a scam. You heard him there saying Delta, the Delta variant is a hoax. And this is how he defended uh, what he's saying behind the pulpit earlier in his conversation with one of our local affiliates. Because I'm saying what everybody else is thinking. I'm saying what a lot of common sense individuals believe, they're just afraid to say. So I've kind of become the voice in the wilderness for a lot of these voiceless people. The whole COVID nonsense has been nothing but, you know, an election stealer. And now they're using round two for democratic lockdowns. As Americans, we believe in freedom and personal responsibility. It doesn't really matter to me what the doctor says, right? It matters to me what Jesus says. And what they call me doesn't matter as long as God never calls me a coward. And I'm not going to back down on this issue. You know, he's right in saying that he's not alone, Robin. The difference, though, is that he has influence, and what he's saying has already led to the har uh, harming of some people. Some of his attendees have died as a result of COVID-19, yet he continues to stand behind the pulpit and spread these lies. This is what he said on Twitter over the weekend, saying, quote, call it what it is. It's not a Delta variant. It's a vaccine variant. Even the CDC admitted it. This evil vaccine will cause remarkably more deaths and problems than the virus itself. Get mad, but you've believed a garbage lie. You know, a CNN crew was set to interview Pastor Greg Locke in May, and just 20 minutes before he was scheduled to sit down with that crew, he canceled the interview, saying that uh, later in a statement he felt nauseous and that God told him not to sit down with the crew. Uh, he went on later on a Facebook Live to call the crew of three women diabolical Jezebels. Uh, so he's not backing down from his stance, and, you know, it's scary on his surface what he's saying. But as I mentioned, Robin, his congregation is growing throughout this crusade of misinformation. Robin? What about, congregation is one thing, what about community, like people that live around the church? You know, they're split, uh, and there's been mixed reaction. He is popular among some people, including a family that is split right down the middle. Uh, one of these family members died as a result, uh, you know, uh, of the COVID-19, uh, of COVID of this pandemic, but you have part of this family that we interviewed earlier this year that continues to go to his sermons on Sunday. So there has been a mixed reaction. Uh, this uh, pastor is in the Nashville area, and he continues to grow in that congregation in size. Every week, though, um, you know, he has been under the spotlight for his spread of misinformation, but that hasn't stopped him from continuing on his crusade. Robin. Nick Valencia, thank you very much. You, you know, millions of people are suddenly facing eviction. The moratorium has expired. So are Jen Westhoven. So now rent is due and the back rent. I'm going to... I'm going to get into that rent story for a second, Robin, but I think that maybe our new band name is the Diabolical Jezebels. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right, evictions. So this is a very big deal. Millions of people. Congress let the clock run out on Saturday. That means landlords can now start tacking up eviction notices, go into court to throw people out of their homes. We've got millions of Americans behind on the rent, anywhere between seven to 15 million Americans, depending on the different surveys out there. But the, the latest one I saw from the census, one in six renters. That's a huge amount of Americans who are in trouble. Now, there are some states that have some protections out there beyond what's happening federally. You see them here on this map in red. So that includes Minnesota and Illinois, New York, on the West Coast there too. But people in the South are the most at risk, Georgia, Mississippi and South Carolina. So that's a story we'll be watching closely. All right, let's get you to the latest on what's going on with the IRS. The IRS just sent out another round of refunds to people who paid taxes on their unemployment checks. Now, remember that when President Biden came in, he changed the rules so that people didn't have to pay taxes on that. So the agency says they zipped out 1.5 million refunds last mi pardon me, last week. Now, again, that's if you filed your taxes before the latest COVID law was signed in March and it canceled those taxes out. So uh, it uh, varies by family. All right, Procter & Gamble is also warning about higher prices that are coming. And that can be for things like Pampers, diapers, Tide detergent, and Charmin toilet paper. 
PG says they're going to lose two billion dollars in terms of how much extra they're going to have to pay. It's not their bottom line from higher transportation costs. They're paying more. So they're going to pass that on to consumers. So we'll be watching that one too. All right. That's your money news.